Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue our adventure with Clive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Did you see the girl Sid brought back with him? Odin and Bahama had at it by all accounts. Not by Bellinus Tor. Gods, it's a wonder we didn't feel it here. Let's talk to Sid. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Ah, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen, I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. See what she has that's new? Yes? What? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. I'll leave it be for now. Finished, are you? Oh, that's what I forgot. Look what the curl dragged in. Go on then. Yeah, we got plenty of potions. Is that all? <laughs> Make it quick. What do you want? Anything else? Let's go over here. <laughs> the mean dung had so many uses. Good day. Or is it night? It can be hard. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. How are we doing on the beast, Harry? We're doing all right on it. Still got a lot to uncover. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Like I said, I'm going to read all of that stuff off screen. If everybody else wants to read it, they can do it on their own time. That is such a massive amount to read. Let's go ahead and journey to King's Fall.
Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please. Think about it, Clive. The rumours all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Pet Torgal. Get it, boy. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. I seen that there was an achievement to get for Pet and Torgal, so I figured I'd get that out of the way. Are we hopping down there? More killing. And for what? Fall. It's over. Stay down. That's enough. Man, those kill animations are pretty cool looking. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I want to go over to my abilities. I think the first one I'm going to get maxed out is right here. And then the next one will be over here. And then maybe this one will be uh, the last one that I do, which looks super cool. Yeah. Poor Clive, by the way, fighting out that he killed his brother, even though that I really don't think that his brother's dead. What now? The beast man. There's a good boy. Wake wins. Okay. It does something different for each kind of enemy. That's cool. Can't take much more of it. Oh, 
fine hound. Not this time. A decent amount of damage we were putting out. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Looks like I can go that way. No, it, I guess I have to go this way. Can't be much further now. Oh, I didn't mean to lock on. I didn't even notice I was locked on for a second. Those hornets or bees or whatever they are are a little obnoxious. Not gonna lie, not the biggest fan of them. Two 
use them. These guys aren't too bad. A little beefy. One's a deserter! Take his head! Out of my way. You made your choice! Not this time. It's over. That's enough. Stay down. Clive, what's the situation? You're late. The Count's in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <sighs> 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 Oh, die, you bastard! I think that hurt me more than it hurt him. Sorry, lad. Don't know how much help I'm going to be here. to go. Man, I am getting my ass kicked. Too slow. Too 
more slow. Well, this is new. Since when could these bastards fly? But what goes up must come down. Bloody time waster. Come on, let's finish him off. Garuda! He was actually quite tough. Come on. There. <sighs> Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. <sighs> so, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes... There's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. <laughs> but we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. Aye. I saw him too. 
You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, there you are. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Fucking knew it. <laughs> it's definitely Clive's brother. Let's go back to the hideaway. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! Ah. She's awake! Right. Oh. Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. That was pretty funny on Gav's part. I think he was flirting with her. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? There's a Moogle? They even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest, and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. That sounds... painful. No side quests yet. 
Let's get this fixed before someone doesn't... It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive! You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Francis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive.
I should make ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. So right here is where we're going to end the video. That way we don't have another hour long video. <laughs> I know two in a row. So what I'm going to do is cut it here. And when we come back, we'll do some side quests in here because it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we, we got some side quests to do. We'll do that and then we'll continue on the main quest. So now that that's all been said, I want to start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.